Good morning. Welcome to the third edition Coach's Corner, Penn State University, Lehigh Valley Men's Basketball Show. I'm here today on Monday, November 28th, 2011, uh, the first Monday after Thanksgiving, and I hope everyone enjoyed family and friends and their time off and away from their everyday affairs. Uh, we want to start today, I have with me two of Penn State University Lehigh Valley men's basketball team players. I have Brian and Ryan. Brian Ferlino, forward, and Ryan Dieter, guard, for our team. I uh, just want to welcome those guys. Uh, guys? All right. Hi, everyone. What's up, everybody? Yeah, that was Brian, the first guy, and the second guy was Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> All right. Um, today is a pretty special day, uh, Monday, November 28th, not only in terms of being the first day back after a small, short break from school and classes, it is our first home game here at Penn State Lehigh Valley. It is our first home game ever in our first home game this season. So pretty special. Um, we're looking forward to a, a good showing and uh, people will come out and support us. And I'm, I'm certain that people will be, regardless of the outcome, uh, impressed and, and pleased with how these young men perform. Um, our last game, which has been several days ago, about nine to be um, accurate, uh, we played at Penn State uh, Greater Allegheny, excuse me, uh, on the 19th of November, um, which was uh, guys did pretty well. We had three guys in double figures. Uh, Ryan was one of those gentlemen with 10 points. Um, so we expect to do better as we go, go along. Uh, but I'd like to have these guys kind of give their uh, impression uh, about playing tonight, uh, what it means, um, and, and how he, they feel the team will perform and, um, under these circumstances. So let's start with uh, Ryan Dieter. Uh, the, the gentleman that last game had was in double figures, had 10 points, six rebounds, played a pretty good game, and one of our leading scorers. So, Ryan, give everyone, uh, you, you know, your idea and how you feel about tonight's game and w what you ex expect to uh, accomplish tonight. Well, um, <clears throat> I'm pretty excited about uh, being the first game of our, of our year at home, the first time ever. It's a home game for our program. So uh, it's a pretty big thing, and I think as a team we're trying to um, to build up each game so far this year and to play better each game. Like it's not about winning every game, even it's about just getting better after each game. I think. Yeah, we we have, and and that's a good point. We we have gotten better each game, and and good that you're focused on on that. What's it going to be like to have you know your family and and friends and you know have an opportunity to see you play in a college basketball game uh, for the first time? How's that feel? Uh, it's it's a little nerve wracking, I guess you can say <laughs> the least. But uh, you know, I'm just go out there and try to do my thing the best I can do. You know, like, but yeah, you know, I'm pretty pumped up. That I can't lie. Good, good, good. Sounds good. Yeah. And um, we'll, we'll we'll talk to Brian. Brian, you know, um, for you, this is um, probably your second. Um, college game, and you just joined the team uh, a little later than everyone else. And so, um, your second game as a college basketball player, you know, how do you feel about tonight's game? Um, I feel great. I feel more prepared because of the practicing, getting to play from a little bit from well, the last game and the greater Allegheny game. <clears throat> I think I definitely improved. I actually got out there in the greater Allegheny to see what it was like. And I can <clears throat> learn from those experience and to prove myself <clears throat> for this game tonight and from also the practices that I've been <clears throat> attending to, you know, it kind of <clears throat> um, improved my skill a little bit. Yep, I, I can attest to that as well. Brian, you've come a long way since you've joined the team. I think that I'm certain you'll do a lot better tonight than you did last game. Um, what about your emotions in terms of, you know, parents or friends and family out there watching you as you, you know, go out in your second game playing a, being a college basketball player? I think they'll be proud of me because they always wanted me 
to play basketball because my dad, you know, he plays basketball. He just plays, uh, like, at <clears throat> the Mace High School for just for fun with a bunch of guys. And he, I, I do play with them, like, on one-on-one -on -one and see how we do. And he always wanted me to play basketball since I was so tall. <clears throat> and he wanted me to get out there and try for it. And this is the first time I ever did this, and he's kind of proud of for me. Well, I, I think that's special. I think, you know, again, and we touched on this in the past in one of our other shows, that these campuses, Commonwealth campuses at Penn State, allow individuals who may not be the best players or may not have had an opportunity to play in high school to give some of these kids a chance. And here's a classic example of that. And, I, and I'm sure that your parents and your father are very proud because, again, as you guys know, this is college basketball. There's no doubt about that. You, you can say what you want to say, but we played, this is our what, third game, and, you know, those teams have been pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. Speak to that part for just a second. Let people know um, if they think that, you know, the competition is not that good and players aren't that good. Um, we'll start with Ryan. Uh, Ryan, you want to speak to that? Yeah, um, it's no joke at all from the first few games. Like, our first game, we had kids we were playing against who were, like, 6'8 and 6'5 and all. Like, you know, these schools are actually, like, good crew players and all. You know what I mean? So, it's, so yeah, it's pretty tough. Yeah. And yeah. and Brian, what what do you have to say? I know you were you're an inside player, forward more so than yeah. Ryan. So what do it, you think? It was kind of tough to play with guys that are bigger because I'm like six four, and they're like six eight. They're like towering. So it was kind of like new, <laughs> like a new <laughs> whole experience because I never had actually people that were actually taller me when I was in school. Exactly, <laughs> and I, I and I and I can exactly, you know, um, attest to what you're saying as well. Um, I just want to um, also, you know, again, let everyone know that tonight, um, our first home game, uh, Penn State, Lehigh Valley, we are hosting Brandywine. The game will be played at Southern Lehigh High School. Um, the game will start at 7 o'clock. You can arrive probably as early as 6, 6 o'clock. The doors will be open for anyone interested. Again, um, it will be a great opportunity come out and see what the school has to offer in terms of the program, uh, the kids, type of competition that we compete against. And, um, you know, it's a great, it's a great opportunity, again, to, to support the team and to support your fellow students and, and the community. Um, I want to say and leave the last words up to Ryan and Brian. Ryan, um, you have anything to say to people in terms of coming out and supporting us and, um, and, and making this a, a great outing? Just to come out tonight because, uh, like, as Coach has been saying, it's something really, like, like, cool and new and, like, important. So it'd be great if you guys all came out and show your support. And Brian? I just want to tell you guys that you should go out there and support us because <clears throat> it's our first home game, and it it really means us, uh, uh, excuse me, a, a lot to us. <clears throat> and with that, I, I want to say again: uh, come out, support us, support these guys. They've really put in a lot of hard work. They're working out and practicing every day, so it's not some kind of recreational thing where they just show up when they feel like it. It's very serious and a very big commitment. So the least we can have people do in the community and at the university is come out and support the program. With that, hopefully we'll see you guys tonight, and thank you for listening to another edition of Coach's Corner here at Penn State University, Lehigh Valley.